Mama Hedda is an intense missing child drama and domestic thriller about a struggling Kiwi family and the angel that stands up for them. To tell us more about the show, please welcome to the cafe, Jackie Nairn and Neil Ray. Yes! yes. <laughs> Look at this, royalty. Oh, <laughs> oh love it. Thank you us. so much for having us, yeah. And now, talking about a missing child, that is um, intense stuff. I mean, every parent's worst nightmare. Yeah, and we're living it every day at the moment, so the rehearsal process is quite intense. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we kind of walk away feeling a little bit sick, so it's, yeah. <laughs> Although Neil does a lot of dancing during the day. I do, I do. A bit of a <laughs> right. We just sort of bust a couple of moves. I'm not, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not, no, I'm not dancing. Right now. <laughs> just not on this tabletop. <laughs> so, Jackie, tell us a little bit about the storyline. Well, uh, when the play opens, uh, we find this couple who uh, whose child has gone missing, and uh, there's uh, myself, I play a character called Liz, and her husband Peter, and uh, there's a social worker who's arrived to sort of help them, and we're sort of, we find them in the morning after a night of this child being missing, so it is every parent's worst nightmare, and the play sort of unfolds, and it's about how the family deal with that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking it, it's a New Zealand written play? Yeah, it's a play written by a New Zealand playwright, Emma Kinane, who's, um, uh, Emma's also a trained actor and a very good actor, and, and one of the things that she kind of brings to it is that she's bringing a kind of dialogue and stuff that really kind of makes sense and sings off the page. Wow. I think, yeah. I'm an Anahira, that means angel, doesn't it? So who, who is Anahira in the play? Ah, well, uh, Anahira is played by um, a young uh, Wellington actor called um, Nina, Nina. Uh, Dika's Rehana. Uh, and she is an angel, maybe in a metaphorical sense, maybe in a symbolic sense, but we don't know whether she's a kind of a dark angel or a light angel. Mm. She's a harbinger of... Harbinger? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whether she's a harbinger of, of, of good or not, yeah. Okay, and, and Jackie, how would you prepare for a role like this? Your character, describe her a bit more and how intense that is for you to play and what you have to do to get there. Well, she's she's a, she's a career woman. Uh, she's a, a wife. She has a wonderful rela relationship with her husband. Uh, and I guess the thing is that you just... The way I prepare is I sort of think, if I, if this was me, if I was in this situation if my child had gone missing. Even now I just get a bit, you know, how would that be? And that's that's just literally how I drop in. And that's, yeah. And obviously there's a whole, lots of layers that go into the character. Mm. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty intense subject matter. Mm. So it's not hard I can't to go there. I anything more intense than, it would be absolutely totally terrifying to lose your child. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, and I guess we're taking a lot of care of each other in rehearsal. So the, the, the dancing thing is actually, mm. literally me kind of dancing out yes. stress. But we're also yeah. giggling a lot. You no, like, because you know, when, when you live, we're a bit silly. Yeah, yeah. we are. <laughs> it's that newsroom humour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Really bad story. Black humour. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the great thing about this play is that there's a wonderful twist in it, and obviously we can't say what the twist is because that will spoil yeah. it. Is that the next question? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, sorry about that. <laughs> but um, it, but the the wonderful thing about this play is it comes out of nowhere and it is unexpected and it's the sort of twist that will leave the audience just gobsmacked and mm. uh, it'll generate a lot of discussion in the bar afterwards. I was and this is the good thing about a play like this, I guess, the discussion, because I guess we get to see a glimpse of what a family's going through behind closed doors. It's a very key way to keep everything to ourselves. Yes, absolutely. Is that what we see? Absolutely. You see a relationship um, as it starts, and, you know, maybe there's a little bit of unravelling of that. Yeah. And, and you, yeah, I guess you, you, you watch a bunch of people coming to terms with a bunch of truths, and... Mm. Sometimes that's painful and sometimes that's kind of beautiful and rewarding and heroic, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's sounding like it's sounding a little bit like Broadchurch. Has that been like that reference been made before? <laughs> it has actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I love Broadchurch. I'm a huge fan of that show, uh, and I, the writing in this play um, really leads you down this path of mystery and thriller, and then those the wonderful things that unfold and the terrifying things that unfold are just such a like the, the audience is going to love it for mm. sure. Yeah. And Katie Wolf was the director. We had her in here before. Before talking about Wadu, yes. which was an intense oh, movie. Such, mm. such, a, such a great film. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. What's it been like with her as the director? Well, this is the third time <laughs> I've this is the third time I've worked with Katie. Um, I was first cast by her back in 2004 when I'd arrived back from the UK, and uh, so working with her is like working with an old friend. Nice. And so I trust yeah. her implicitly, yeah. and especially with the subject matter like this, which is you want to um, honour the script, you want to honour people mm. who have gone through mm. something similar, um, and so yeah, we feel in very 
safe hands with Katie. Anna Hira opens at Wellington's Circa Theatre on September 9th. For ticket details, head along to their website, circa.co.nz. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, Thank awesome. you for Thank you. Yeah, great. Good luck with everything.